lame. There was this particular clip that kind of went viral on the social media webs of this guy called Sideman All Day, who has some stuff to say about the Danny Lane, the baby incident. I'm going to play a bit of it now and then obviously comment on the other side about why I think it's pretty lame and pretty loser behavior for dudes to get to insert themselves into women's business. Obviously, it's social media business. And obviously, this guy is a cultural commentator the same way that I am in my little niche. So I understand he has to talk about some things. But when it comes to relationships, baby drama, you know, cheating stuff here and there, I just think that's a line that I would never want to cross or get into because it just gets into bird talk. And again, guys can't really contribute well when it comes to this sort of stuff because in general i think the double standards do exist but when it comes to these sort of situations you're never gonna offer anything i think insightful enough that's ever gonna move the needle or change anyone's perspective especially on the other side when it comes to women they're never they're just not gonna listen it's just what a waste of time and for the guy's point of view we know that we are capable of the same levels of fuckery that we're seeing from these guys in the industry if we were put in the same position that they were put into i think most men who are honest and um, who can look themselves in the mirror and be kind of self-critical who can be um yeah who can be kind of somewhat self-aware um are, are under no illusions that if they were as famous as the baby and he has his access to him as he has to you know beautiful women all over the world and the money and all this whatever maybe we would be acting out the same way too maybe some of us weren't maybe some of us have been brought up in ways that would you know prevent us from ever being those type of guys but i think most dudes know that they have the ability to also delve into the scumbaggedness that we're seeing with some of these dudes so what do you do you just refrain from commenting because you know that could be you any day of the week so you just kind of leave it but you know some people don't want to leave it and they want to share their opinion Cyberman is obviously one of these people so let's see what he has to say about this situation himself let's see if this works yes people yesterday i was cooked roasted over coal fire on twitter because I said I have little pity for women who choose to copulate with popping rap popping rappers with lyrics that clearly advertise the type of single mother, publicly disgraced life they're about to head into. Men can be liars, manipulators and deceivers, abandoners, abusers and deserters. They can be crafty, but a lot of these newer rappers are giving away Man. the tea. I'm Man woke up in the morning, right? Probably hasn't washed his face, probably hasn't had a shower, maybe hasn't brushed his teeth grabbed on a bathrobe and put on a hat probably got his legs crossed under a table and he's here talking about women's business like this is why i think again what he might have to say because i've watched the video already and he has some you know some interesting stuff to say and for for sure he's right in some of his points but just the optics of it just look lame there's nothing that just there's nothing that screams I don't know what it doesn't scream. There's just nothing that you kind of take away from this and you think, yeah, that's a guy that you'd want to hang out with and grab a beer with. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing about this whatsoever. And I think from a woman's point of view, what exactly are you getting from this guy's speech that you're not kind of aware of anyway, but you're just kind of living in some sort of... Because we all do it, innit? When it comes to relationships and love, it's complicated, right? There's no real rhyme or reason why people get themselves in situations that are kind of um, obviously destructive and harmful to their physical mental well-being we know these things happen we all have families with debbie uncles and aunties and nieces and nephews who are families are all dysfunctional we know this situation exists we know family friends people growing up in school with it happens all the time so sometimes when people get on their soapbox when it comes to celebrities i think to myself like don't you have family members who have done the same thing or people that you know that you've grown up with who are even worse like i'm yeah i mean it's just like it is what it is isn't it and love is just love unfortunately in the same way as friendship it just kind of it kind of warps your kind of it kind of really affects your able your ability to kind of reason and deduce and to rationalize and to think critically right or to kind of step back kind of you know third person view and kind of really kind of view yourself from the outside and see where you're going wrong it does really mess up two things to you and unfortunately you don't think you know sensibly and you get yourself in a situation that you never really intended and that's it that's basically where it ends all this other pontificating about it's just noise really in the end of the day but i just think optics wise this is why i've never really been a fan of men gossiping because it just doesn't look cool you just look lame you know what i mean it's just like what are you offering what are you getting involved in it's like it's, it's the equivalent of like do you remember back in the day when you were a kid and you went to like your auntie's house as a birthday or party wherever maybe and all the uncles are in the, in the room sitting down having beers chatting shit busting each other's balls all the women are in the kitchen gossiping having a little chat you know what i mean catching up on whatnot who's a dickhead who's not a dick you know that kind of stuff and then all the kids are upstairs that's equivalent of you like as a dude just wanting to sit in the kitchen with your mum 
Do you know what I mean? Why would you want to sit there listen to that chat? Like, it's already enough annoying with your mum screaming into the phone on loudspeaker about whatever issues going on with some family member back in Africa. Do you want to now sit in the kitchen and hear other women screaming about the exact same thing? You don't want to do that. And I think that's what it kind of comes back to. You want to be either be in the in the living room with the, with the uncles who are going to kick you out sooner or later because they don't want you kind of cramping their style, or you're going to be in a room with all the kids are chatting shit and you know and lying about what computer game you got. Do you know what I mean? That's what you're going to do. You're not going to be in a room in the kitchen with them women and that talking just i don't know it just comes across a little bit Ugh. just maybe it's just me maybe it's just me i'm not talking about a conscious rapper who is doing their thing uh they could be lying too but you know but these ones that tell you exactly how they see women as possessions as commodities the ones we have watched uh, year after year for more than a decade leave women high and dry are uh, are still selected with the expectation that things will turn out different and then the excuses are that these girls are young, yada, yada, yada. No, you know who's young? The actual kids they're having. I have pity for people until it comes to kids because I'm sick of this trend. of. This is a weird rationale too, again. He's going on as if like, it's a strange energy because it does sound a little bit like he's a bit pissed off that he's not the one. You know what I mean? But maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe he's reading too much into it about, you know, selecting. I don't know, whatever it may be. But it's strange to suggest that somehow scumbags only exist the scumbag dudes are only the rapper guys as if there's not like regular dudes that work in tesco's who are you know who have got four girls on a bounce and he's telling them all that he loves them that he's gonna go move to flipping south end on sea with them and shit those guys exist everywhere those guys were able to kind of you know charm the pants off of women and shit and usually it happens to the most unsuspecting one especially the ones that kind of take guys for granted or not who kind of underestimate a guy's power because he's like from a certain socioeconomic level or from a certain background and then suddenly boom it hits you over the head happens all over the place it is what it is it's just a situation what the situation is but again women's business don't need to get involved in it it just comes across a little bit moist creating life for banks it's dangerous and it's harmful and it perpetuates a cycle of destruction. If you are not fit and in stable enough circumstances to raise a child, then do not have unprotected sex, man or woman, simple. I'm not mincing my words or applying cocoa butter to my words to tell you gently. There needs to be a shock to the system with this because it's madness. I have literally done so many videos talking about deadbeat dads. And the second I talk about a potential mother's choices, it's an issue. I'm never here for alleviating blame from men. That should be apparent by now. But I'm also here for safeguarding women from these men with good old, the good old fashioned weapon called common sense. If he treats his baby mother like rubbish, you're next. If he raps about treating women like trash, I don't care what he says to you behind closed doors, stay away. If he's young, newly rich and wild, he's probably going to want to explore that to its fullest and you won't hold him back. That's not victim blaming. I'm not blaming her for his actions. I'm alerting her to the signs that his actions will occur. I'm never going to stop talking about abusers, uh, but I'm also aware abusers are never going to stop existing. So it's either we live in a fairy world where we only talk to the abuser or we live in the real world where we arm young girls with an awareness of the world that they live in. Not only for them, but for the child you could potentially... He's even covering up his flipping robe like he's gonna, like he's, you know, he's exposing his flipping cleavage madness. But look, right? <clears throat> it's a nonsense, isn't it? Because I think, whenever I think, whenever I see guys who are incredibly opinionated when it comes to the relationship choices or the drama that's involved with celebrities, especially when it comes to the nouveau riche type of guys, like I mean, right? The guys who are kind of, you know, just kind of stepped into money in the last, what, decade or so. Their whole family line has been broke or on the poverty line before that and they've essentially elevated their entire you know family tree into middle class upper middle class you know you know one percent of lifestyles i it, i always kind of think of that um epic bill burr tiger woods bit where he essentially goes on a rant and essentially the joke the premise of the joke is that all these guys out there judging or pointing fingers at tiger woods have never been in his position right just imagine how crazy it must be to be a golfer because before Tiger Woods existed, there was no such thing as attractive superstar golfers. It didn't exist, right? They might have been, of course, don't get me wrong, they might have been attractive golfers that people loved this up. In terms of superstar golfers on a level of like a Michael Jordan, they didn't exist before. The guy was a phenom. Do you know what I mean? He comes through and for whatever reason, women love this guy, right? They, they, they're drawn to him. They think he looks incredible. And he obviously clearly loves the women back. And he's one of the only people in golf's history who's had, especially with, again, the media. And again, he wasn't, you know, imagine Tiger Woods' ascent wasn't at the peak of social media, right? Um, social media came a, a, a few years after he kind of was at his real, real peak. 
yet he still got himself involved in mad drama when it comes to the females and he had them actually falling all over him right to get access to the guy so bill burr's bit is something along the lines of of course you would like your your girlfriend you're having women you know usually you've got hordes of dudes jacking off analyzing your stroke and now you've got you know this guy called tiger woods with his adoring fans uh, you know a bus full of i think you know blonde women from scandinavia getting dropped off to kind of watch him play golf of course you're going to go crazy and i think most dudes deep down understand when they see a, a scandal or something of a dude whatever it may be in the media you know cheating on some super supremely attractive woman out there da, 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 da. they will understand deep down that that also could be them now most guys try and have principles and morals and whatnot i've spoken about it myself on my podcast about my difficulties and you know, wrestling that i'm trying to do in my whole life where i'm trying to make sure that i'm congruent where I'm trying to make sure that the person that I am in private is also the same person I'm in public or the person I'm in public is the same person I'm in private. I'm trying to have my personality and my being represented. I'm trying to just be like a stand-up dude, right? And it's very difficult to do so, right? Because you have to tell the truth. You have to be honest and stuff. Um, you have to just be... You just There's a lot of stuff that you have to do that's pretty difficult nowadays because people are scumbags and the world kind of, kind of rewards that sort of behavior. But in general... We also know, I think as most dudes, if you're honest with each other, we know that we have the we have the capacity to be corrupted. And we also know that if we had access to the money, again, to the wealth, to the money, to the fame, to the success, to the whatever, just access in general to people selling into it. Imagine, just, just imagine for one sec, most dudes in life, I've guessed 90% of guys, when it comes to attracting somebody that they want to get intimate with, you know, someone you want to fuck, someone you want to date, whatever it may be, it's usually you pursuing them. It's usually you sliding into a DM, responding to an Instagram story, doing a heart eyes emoji, doing whatever you can to kind of get an attention, trying to get some sort of bite on your bait, right? Do something just to kind of get the attention and maybe going from there. It's never the other way around for the most, for most guys. You don't have, a, you've never experienced like guy, girls tripping over you, right? Crossing the street, wanting to ask you questions chatting you up adding you da, 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 creeping in your comment it's not something you think you ever have experienced so imagine that happening on at scale everywhere you're going you're having those interactions where somebody's trying to get into your trousers get into your pockets right whatever right? maybe get on your team it must be weird right and it must do something to it must do something to you it must corrupt you in some way sure for sure it, especially if you're a stand-up guy it must do something to kind of corrupt your um your moral your morals your principles you know how you've been brought up and shit it definitely does something to you so i think most dudes understand that and guess what we just look at the news and we just keep it moving because we know that could easily be us but when you're one of these kind of dudes who kind of you know i don't know you want to play both sides of this fence you want to be the one that calls out the guys you also want to be the one that calls out the girls and if in theory what you're actually doing is that you're make you're, you're trying to be that guy that all the girls can kind of point to and say see he's a guy like you and he's talking about this sort of stuff and he's this way da, 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 da. but really in the actuality guys guys don't really i mean they're not gonna mess with you too tough because they know you're up to no good right they know really and truly there's like a cloak and dagger you know what i mean no no offense he's wearing a robe and shit cloak and dagger there's something that you're hiding you're concealing do you know what i mean you're not really being up afraid not being honest because most dudes wouldn't want to talk about it because they know it could be them next easily easily in any way shape or field and they also know that this is something that's a complicated issue that's not really going to be advanced in any way shape or form by what i or what he has to say in any way shape or form. we're not going to affect anything we're not going to change women's minds we're not going to change the conversation we're not going to change anything about that issue in general we're not going to change it because let's let's analyze one tiny thing before i end and kind of continue on to other stuff there's an instant there's a couple of instances in the video where obviously the baby's antagonizing Danny Lay a bit, right? He's saying some stuff to obviously trigger her because again they've got a relationship, so I'm sure he has what he, you know, we all have done it in the past where you have a relationship that's kind of deteriorating, and you may be at the point where you both don't want to walk away really, and you're just kind of poking at each other. I don't know. It's just you know you say stuff to each other, but you know how to get under each other's skin, and he's clearly saying stuff to antagonize her, right? But she's also responding in a very Phys passive aggressive almost physically aggressive manner where she's kind of walking over to him lingering and at one point she kind of oh she kind of does that right motion as if like oh if the camera was on right now, i'll be beating you up over the head so clearly that's what relationship they kind of have now no one's saying what's right or wrong but let's just imagine that the roles were reversed and it was the baby that was doing that to her especially with his history of violence that he has 
how what the internet would be how did they respond if he would refuse to leave and he was also on the video clearly looking like he was trying to physically hit her and he was restraining himself people would be going absolutely apeshit and again there's nothing you can say that's ever going to change a woman's mind in that perspective because still the baby's a villain Danny lays the princess that needs to be saved. It, it just is what it is. Unfortunately, when it comes to relationships and love, we're just not. Yes, we're not at a point yet in society where we're mature enough to actually have adult conversations about the roles men and women play in relationships. Men and men and men, women and women. We're not at that point yet. We don't because we're just infantile in our understanding about how relationships actually work day to day, and we're in denial and all that and all that stuff that you know whatever else we need to talk about. So when I see guys posted up in their bathroom talking about this sort of stuff ad you know ad nauseum it just fills me with absolute dread because i know for sure there's stuff in his cupboard that he's obviously concealing or there's things that you know maybe he's maybe identified in himself that he's kind of wrestling with that he sees in other people and again you comment it in a way like this and you try and spin it in a way to make you seem virtuous when in actuality it kind of makes you look more sus but in general I've just never been a fan of dudes gossiping. I just haven't never been, especially when it comes to women's business. It just seems a bit gross. There's nothing you're going to add to this. In the, there's nothing you're going to add to the story. It just seems a bit like loser behavior. And again, I just wish people would use their time more wisely or would just kind of, you know, maybe try and help their friends and family who are going through maybe similar situations because maybe they need your assistance more than people from across the pond. But again, maybe it's just me.